Yes, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. We're gonna break down Greta Van Fleet, Edge of Darkness. Tons of requests for this. People love Greta Van Fleet, but then also I see a lot of people that dislike Greta Van Fleet. It's very divisive out there. Uh, and I'm just curious, do you love Greta Van Fleet or do you hate Greta Van Fleet? Um, I think this is a super fun song to play. I think you guys will dig it, but let me know, I'm curious. Also, thanks for supporting Marty Music, subscribing, clicking the bell notification, checking the links in the description. Let's break it down. All right, we're gonna start with an F sharp minor. So that's part across the second fret with that E minor shape. So go bone kung. And so what you want to do is just emphasize. So then we go. Oh, bad, oh, ba. Holding that F sharp. It's a real quick little thing. And then you're gonna go scratch up on that same chord. And then A. It's basically an A power chord. But if you get that in there too, that's fine. And then a D chord. And you want the full D chord with that whole thing, middle finger. And there's gonna be lots of pulling that middle finger off and putting it back on, so. Then it goes into this little pentatonic thing. Um, think of it as F sharp. And then. So just like Paranoid, actually. <laughs> Borrow from the best. They'd probably be relieved to hear a comparison to Black Sabbath over the amount of Led Zeppelin they get, so. Anyway, there you go, for the internet. Um, so F sharp minor. And then that same A to D. Then that verse happens again there, and it's back to that original rhythm. Uh, and he, uh, and there's a wine on down the road, is this lady we all know from, from the Forbidden. Um, he's definitely, I'm sure unintentionally, just through, um, you know, inspiration. He's, he's definitely taking from that little melody in that forbidden. So, uh, anyway, back to. <laughs> then the little pre chorus is an E, big old E chord. E to D, real, real straightforward there. Then you get to this chorus, which is great. The chorus is awesome. And going from the verse to the chorus feels really good. 
So the basics of it is an A. So think A, G, and I'm pretty much muting that A string. That's why you might see it like that. And then D. So then there's another little page-ism, we'll, we'll say, and it's the A, and it's that A major pentatonic in there. <laughs> hey. Hey, 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 hey. So uh, you do the A, and then you do. So that's two and four on the D, and then two and four on the G. And it kind of, you can pull it off into the G chord. So. bridge it basically sorry my wah is dirty but he goes into a little wah there it's the line but it's more staccato and then straight to an e And from that E, you just got, so one, two, one, which is just that sus four of the E chord. And then he doubles up, uh, so it's F sharp. So that would be up here in just the A rooted minor pentatonic. So 911, 911 on the uh, D to the G. And then straight to the E. But the last one, there's no ding da, just. Ripping solo, I think it would be great for you to, you should look up uh, some of the live versions of this like I did when I was figuring this tune out. And they, the guitar player, man, he just rips a super long solo. It's, ref, it's, it's refreshing for 2020 that, you know, a young band is, is ripping a four minute long solo at a big festival. It's, it's awesome. I mean, I look at the positive in that and... It's great for rock and it's great for guitar, so. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. I enjoyed uh, bringing it to you into this world. Uh, also, let me know uh, what you'd like to see in the comments below and hope to see you later.